we're back at it again. Quick, quick thing. So yeah, I'm an edge runner now, and uh, yeah, let me just show you what I'm talking about. So I cut some points from cool over here because I figured I'm not using the pistol that much and I can make myself go slow-mo pretty much anytime I want on command. So I figured don't need this because I'm mostly a knife guy. Well, I'm knife man, but um, yeah. So now I'm an edge runner and as you can see, I think I'm pretty cracked. I think I am indeed cracked the fuck out. This is gorgeous. Let me check my stats real quick. 22% explosion resistance, 100% stamina regen rate. Jesus Christ. Is there any other stats I can find? 29% crit chance. 15% melee damage. Yeah. What is this mission? Listen to that guy. How'd you rid his chops? To my untrained ear, sounds all right, I guess. Easy listening, at least. No why? Technique's second rate. But the feeling? That's what counts. Guy's hurt, got something he can't take. And it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong, loses the tempo more than he keeps it, but... Not bad. Really know how to give a guy a compliment. <laughs> that how you got your start? A street busker with big dreams? Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world awake. Being at the top can be worth it. Wanna shake the world, you know? World's gotta feel you first. And you pay for it. You spend your lyrics laying waste to the big record corpse who's gonna sign you then. But give up your ideals, and no amount of eddies can buy them back. All right, princess. At least you played some gigs. Saw those memories of yours. True. Played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. Had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff didn't even know who we were. saying some old samurai bootlegs are still floating around town i smell eds no idea you were such a materialist could almost cry almost jokes aside you think those tapes still exist after all these years hmm. you know rainbow cadenza is not far from great spot place for people with their head A little late um, in the game to be trying Johnny, to collect his shit. Pretty sure they no, turned your great spot into hey. a slurp shop. Mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again. Point for the other team. Huh. Huh. This is why you don't bring back fallen warriors. Sooner or later, they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit. <laughs> Samurai. Oh, old guy comes by here sometimes wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. Wouldn't happen to know where I could find him? You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, organic strawberries and cream. He sells ancient dusty tapes of cream. Heard I can get. What you mean by decent? We got 
Cartesian duelist, Uridine stuff, tainted overlord. Any samurai? <laughs> Kid, you even gotta ask? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in, you name it, we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them wreckers out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. Wait a sec. What's that you're wearing? Isn't that... That's right. An exact replica of Silverhand's jacket. <laughs> you look as if I just gave you a half-century-old flashback. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna put on oh, those glasses too. Hell, I'll be damned. Last time I saw that, I was still basking in the glory of youth. One time, Johnny hung it on a chair to go beat the living shit out of some Militech apologist. I snuck up and I put it on just for a few seconds. Oh. <laughs> See, I found Silverhand's biggest fan. Uh, Silverhand? He had that fire, kid. Fire! Guy shook the foundation. Doesn't matter, he was also kind of a terrorist. Blaze way down the rebel path. Yeah, looking for the real deal. Like, say, bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs? Fuck. First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so, so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. Hey, a poser. Know everything there is to know about Silverhand. Go on. Impress me. Know what he told Carrie the last time they met. Fuck this band. Not your crowd, not your noise. Do your own thing. Yeah, sure. I could think up a million conversations they had. There were no witnesses. Ah, I used to come here back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scop. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. Weren't even a twinkle in your daddy's Kuroshis. Hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? All right, punk. Prove it. How'd Samurai's third ever gig end? Hey, Johnny, get your digital ass out here. Feed me my lines. How about this? Fuck you, V. Well, Johnny, please, can you stop making my life harder? My life that's quickly running out? How am I supposed to give a witty response to that? You always played our third gig at Cadenza. Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed. Wore a wig for a few weeks. Never did get herself any tech hair. Hang on. Now I remember. You wish. <laughs> I almost forgot. Her Johnny started it, actually. Tossed a cig that was still glowing. <laughs> Bullshit. That said was Carrie's, no doubt. But hey, any trouble's Johnny's fault. Still don't believe you were there. But what the hell? Only a real fan can know something like that. Hey, anyways, gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Gone. Have at it. Much appreciate. Take it. You're welcome, Johnny. You know, they say time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. Busaka Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there. Just the same. 
Don't want people getting stuck in a rut, stuck in the past. Want them to change, them and the world. You want to force them to change? Can't just blow them up like the tower. But music's the answer? Here's what happens. Grandpa knows every damn word. Doesn't understand a single one. You'd rather massacre a bunch of people then? And the average Janes and Joes? Maybe they don't want to change. Their choice. You want to take that away from them? They might be bums who play see no evil. Might be blind idiots. They need to wake the fuck up. Guess jury's still out on how. That must be one of the early quests, because homie is upset. What the fuck? Surely this woman has a a gift for me since I just killed all of the cyber psychos, all 17, well, I saved all of the cyber psychos, killed most of them. Psycho killer. Parkour bitch, parkour bitch, parkour bitch. Too much parkour. Oh, I can't pull out my strap. Can't pull out my Glock. Can't pull out the glicker any. Yeah, I crafted this as well. First explosive round. Cylinder's been modified to hold single explosive round capable of wreaking utter destruction. Automatically realize when you perform a quick melee. Yep. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out if this is like a one in the chamber type deal or what? Because if so, I basically have a hand cannon, like a literal like hand cannon, like a musket style. That's hilarious. What up, woman? V. Wanted to tell me something? Just that I appreciate the effort you put in. You've given most cyber psychos a second chance. And I know it wasn't easy. Some of the cyber psychotic have started therapy. Even if they can't be saved, at least maybe we'll learn more about the disease. Because I refuse to believe it's just some kind of cyberware overload. Who knows? Maybe I'll learn enough to write a piece on it. But anyway, the reward is yours. Thanks. Are you giving me? Are you giving me? Are you giving me? Okay, I end up feeling ripped off. Killed hundreds of thousands of people for your bitch ass. Oh man, I'm so tied up. Fuck it, we're doing Denny's mission. We're doing this concert. You really kind of played. Jordy kind of finessed the fuck out of me. Did a lot of work. A lot of almost murders. A lot of actual murders because I'm too broken. 
I'm too powerful. What is this? Okay, yeah. Off to the concert. Hey, man. Ugh, I just drug it across your invisible trachea, my guy. What are you? Oh, tiger claws? I don't know what happened. Try to can teleport. Instant transmission like Goku, bitch. Oh. Oh, bro, I can't believe I fucked my beard up. I'm so depressed. Don't even look at my face. Matter of fact. There you go. I'm sorry, but y'all don't deserve to look at my face. Y'all shouldn't. Y'all shouldn't have to do it. Anything cool, anything cool. Nah. There you go. See those? Uh, what happened here? She must have been renovating. Henry must have borrowed the truck. Gonk always was good at improvising. Maybe they're home. Try the intercom. Right then, guess we keep looking. See, Carrie You Peters. fucking girl! V! Uh, Ooh boy. Here. This is your backup? We got a problem. In case you forgot why the hell you came here in the first place? Carrie sent me. About the concert. What concert? Why isn't he here talking to me? Look, it's awkward. Carrie considers you both friends. What a sensitive guy. Shit. Given he's the one who set this flaming turd bag on my doorstep. We're bringing back Samurai. One night only. That's what he wants to get the crew together for? Sweet. But no fucking way. Not about to play with this shit stain. Danny. No. No way. Either him or me. Choose. Danny digs in her heels, we're done. How's it going? Like shit, man! Danny wants me out of the gig! And we already agreed on everything! What? Carrie's paying you? That's what this is about? Fuck! 
It's all fucking great. So you get him away from me and get the fuck off my lawn. Don't make me choose. Pretty sure it's your call. Fuck really pisses me off. Then he's on a control kick, setting conditions. On the other hand, Henry's got scop for brains. Can't trust him. Thanks. Maybe if someone had tell me what happened... Are you blind? Fucker filled my pool with cement! Maybe he had a good reason. Really? A reason? You out of your fucking mind with the pool? You knew Carrie wanted to get Denny to play with us. Just wanted to clear the air! Fucking Prem. <sighs> if we gotta choose, let's play with Denny. Fuck, Carrie! Seriously? She's the one making a big deal out of this, not me! Listen, I'll get you- You know what, Carrie? Fuck you! Good thing Silverhand isn't here to see this. You done? Get out. Yeah, he's an asshole. Like, he's gotta go. Fuck him. All right, what about Nancy? We make contact. She's gonna set it all up and let us know. See you at the show. Fuck. Now I gotta find someone to clean this up. Oh okay, my god. Okay, all we can do for now. Except wait for Nancy to call. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to use this. Just because it's hilarious. Like, that's fucking funny. Big boy pistol. I want to steal your car, you bitch. I'm not waiting a day. We're doing Pisces. Hopefully this will give us enough time now. Like between this mission. Hopefully this will give, uh, give us like a day. You nervous, Tom? How'd you know? First time we've done anything like this. Just imagine you're doing what a doll does. Just a different program. You're great at that. So glad you came. Molded over in my head, y'all were right. Sometimes the only rational course of action is a kick in the nuts and a bullet between the eyes. Any idea how I can get to Hiromi? Pulled the blueprint, got it all figured out. Okay, not all, but we're good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. Just remember, let the behavioral chip do what it wants. Got no time to deliberate and weigh decisions. Just follow your instincts. Freeze, tense up even for a second. Could cost you your life. And Michael, where's she? Meeting with Hiromi to avoid raising any suspicions. She'll make him stay put until we're in. All right, we going in? Let's do this. Yeah, Judy, let's go murder. Murder mask equipped. Murder hat equipped. Murder shirt 
tank top equipped. Murder pants equipped. We've been had the murder boots on. You two head in right after us. Go straight to clouds. About fucking time. Stay sharp. Gangoons might be lurking. Got a jack into the panel on the other side. Can you take him out? Why does everything here always... Oh my god. You asked for it. Oh. Oops. <laughs> I like this bat. <laughs> the sound. Oh, that's fun. But then, everyone all in position? Tom and Roxy should already be at clouds. We go on Maiko's signal. They'll mop up security, you deal with her own. But first, you gotta get into the penthouse. Gotta get rid of this corpse. Okay, on my way. Elevators on the other side. Be safe. Stay tuned for more details after the break. How's the sitch? We're inside at clouds. Who's taking which floor? I'll take the lower level. Tom will head upstairs. We're all set. Thought we were killing the big guy so we didn't have to. Whatever, whatever. All right, on the roof. Jump down onto the balcony. Careful though, okay? On my mark. Go! I'll be late. I told you, I have shit tons of work. Shut up. think you wouldn't make it right wrong chicks will give you shit no matter what you do this one's a real charmer too could have called off the guards you know would have been quicker simpler i don't have that kind of authority yet why are there three guys what she planned that's our at? target you don't misato Don't have authority yet? Sound damn sure of yourself. Left no room for error. We're exactly where we need to be. What are they watching? Demo reel of Cloud's next top doll. Lucky girl's gonna replace Evelyn. Who are the other two? Target audience of today's presentation. You don't mean answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on I my know face. the clause. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Michael. I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. 
One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. What? No killing. I said it from the start. Oh, please. I mean that wasn't you being noble for your sweet little Judy's benefit? Don't want to kill? Don't. All I need is for him to grovel. Understood? Do your thing. Well, she is no Parker. Wait. What's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromisado's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. She murdered Oswald Forrest. And now she's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. As if that were not enough, this is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck's she doing? Clouds needs new management. Hold on, Maiko. Think you're getting carried away. I see not all has been agreed. V, you gotta take him down. That's why we're here. Hiromi's gotta go. So I have been told. And what then? Would you execute all the clients and leave the dolls to fuck one another instead? Clouds doesn't need bosses. Dolls will take care of the club and themselves. V, I think you're forgetting something. I'll replace Mr. Sato. I detest chaos and fucking anarchy. I'll get everything under control. You cannot even control your own mercenary. Hiromi will answer for his incompetence later. Whereas you will answer for your insolence now. No, you fuck! <laughs> you dumb bitch you fucked me so i fucking killed them all i don't know what to tell you matter of fact i do either you walk away and never come back to clouds or i end you here and now i see you got everything planned out but you forgot just one thing i've also got a doll chip all right v get out of there exit on the lower level of your heart Dumb then bitch. Find the elevator. That stupid bitch really tried to fight me like I wasn't just gonna one shot her goofy ass. That's what you get. That's why you're a liquid on the goddamn ground now, you dumbass. Perish. Heretic. Get the fuck out of here. Man, hold up. Yeah, I like this gun. Yeah, fuck that goofy bitch. I hated her. I'm so glad I got to kill her. Y'all don't even know. Matter of fact, do I have a lobe right here? Oh. Oh. I'm going back and killing Shorty. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you I'm going back and offing her again. Let me on this computer. I want to read your messages. There we go. Tom and Roxy are outside and safe. They weren't followed. Get down to street level, waiting by the food stalls. Thank you, God. You, you killed her? Oh, oh my fucking God. You killed her. 
would have happened if she hadn't come at me. Wasn't my fault. <sighs> Sorry, but I don't buy that. Could have found another way. Michael knew what she was starting, what she was doing. She knew it could all come crashing down. Thought she was untouchable all her life. Well, not my fault she was wrong. <laughs> I, uh... I gotta be seeing you, V. See ya, Judy. Man, I ain't got no regrets. Fuck that goofy bitch. That goofy bitch. Yeah, no, she had to die. Shawty really tried to take over. Like, no. No, ma'am. Alright, let's get this garbage shit over with. Let's go meet River at the trailer park. Gross. I'm really gonna shut this man down the moment he starts trying to flirt. Like, no, sir. I'm gonna hit him with some rude things. I'm sorry. Looking for some decent outerwear. I'm looking for some ninja gear. No ninja gear. Oh, I can sell shit here though, huh? Yeah, I'll buy that back. Just because I wanted to try it. Huh. I think it was here. Right. I'll wait. Glad you're here. I oh, need your help hey. cooking. Hi. What's on the menu? Jambalaya. Hey. Come on. How's it going? You can stir the meat. Uh, soy meat. Okay. Oh no. Maybe Joss would be more help. Joss did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and start stirring. I don't wanna. This is an ancient Ward family secret. Uh huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. Just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but... I gotta ask. What about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. We'll talk later, okay? All right. Think you've stirred enough? Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. No, Randy's always been that way. But I'm sure this didn't help me. How you doing, Joss? I'll call you back later. Really nice of you to come. How's Randy? Still in the hospital. Basmati. Nice. Still in shock. But he's making progress. Haven't had a chance to tell you just how grateful I am. What matters is it's over now. I just don't know how to repay you. If Randy don't had... Don't owe me a thing, Joss. Thank you. River's out back. You know, he can't seem to stop gushing about you. Ugh. <laughs> no. Tomatoes in next. Now you can toss in the... Rice is in. Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. Patio.
Grab a chair. It's nice out here. Yeah. Seems all good. Like nothing bad ever happened. Tell me now about Harris. I paid him a visit at the hospital. You flatline him? I wasn't sure that was what I really wanted. One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River. Well, my parents died. Now, oh, sure you want to hear this? What happened? Old man had a farm, like Harris's dad. But when business took a turn, well... My parents managed to open a small grocery. We lived on the floor above. A loud noise woke us one night. They wanted cash. Register was empty, so they stormed upstairs, forced us all to kneel, and demanded my dad tell him where he hid the money. River, you don't gotta go on. Heard sob stories enough? No, just... This is tough, I can tell. You really don't need to rehash it now. Okay, yeah. You're probably right. Just... Harris. What did you do? Had the gun to his head and... I've ended a few lives in my time. But never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. Told myself the case was closed. That's good. But when now? You're not going back to the PD? PI has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Uncle we'll see. River, you said you'd play with us. You promised. All right, all right. Let's go. V, join us? What are we gonna play, Uncle River? You'll see. You better not be hide and seek. Dorian, we're playing! Yeah, big trouble in Haywood. Grab your set. About to mop these fucking kids. Well, what do you think? Always want. Well, well. This is no time to get distracted. We can't let that filth get away. Ooh. Oh, well, look at you. V, allow me to introduce Captain Joan McLean and Lieutenant Henry Callahan. They're our precinct's best and brightest. Wouldn't want to get in their way. I always work alone. No exceptions. Even for you. Yeah, me too. Oh, I've heard of cops. That's right. Thorns in their commander's side. I've been suspended one time, retired two times, and kicked off the force three times. I'm getting too old for this. But something always drags you back. The city needs me. All right. All right. All we gotta do is track down El Chamuco y Diablado and take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We'll play like two teams, us and the kids, but we work toward the same objective. The team with the best result wins. You don't stand a chance. Hey V, just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. Oh, I'm about to mop these fucking kids. Let the kids win. Get him! The city's mine! You'll never take her from me! <laughs> He's fast, but not fast enough to escape justice. Watch out! It's Is that close. all you got? Not half bad. Nah, -uh. watch this! Not half bad. Next round, next round! This way, it must be their rat infested hideouts. 
could smell the moral decay from a mile off. Yeah, all this dialogue you're spitting ain't gonna make you aim better, kid. Come on, come on. It's a trap! They were waiting for us! He's hit! Is He's that hit. all you got? Nuh-uh! But next time we gotta be faster. Just a real guy, just chilling. Out of the way, citizen. Obstructing justice is punishable by law. This is your last warning. Easy there, Captain. I'm just passing through. Come on. That'll be dirty. Just go sand devastate on them. I got a mom. Some last words? Fine. Out. No. Oh, come on. Okay, so now. Lunch is ready. Oh, you'll get. Did you see the score? That sucked. Uh, I hate this game. I, you two did great. It was really close. Oh, I should have let him win. Yeah, sorry. Kind of let myself get sucked into it. Ah, well, at least they had a little fair competition. Hey, food's on the table. It was not fucking fair. You saw me just mop them. So, was your game fun? Mm, it was okay. He's pretty Nova, I guess. Maybe you ought to play together more often, huh? Mm-hmm. But she's on my team next time. Exactly. You know, child. Time I am to see if God. this tastes as good as it smells. Unemployment's being good to you. You seem good. River's discovering the joys of family life. That and police duty. Never a good mix. This here's a way to get some of those years back. I haven't seen him this untroubled in a while what about you v you got a family or just relations don't have one don't want one no place for me in one and i just don't need it well you brought my family back to me and i'm grateful if you say so joss and my brother likes you. Josh. Well, why hide it? Probably asked you to say that himself, didn't he? Wow. How did she know? <laughs> no. Come on, Joss. You don't see wedding bells in my future, surely? Why not? Who thinks me and <clears throat> Uncle River make a good couple? Well, that's decided. Got an 1199. Officer needs backup. Come on, pull you out of this ambush. Yeah. Fuck no. Sorry, brother. You are missing an eye. You look like thanks, Kano. Thanks, Joss. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, and you got one earring, bro. That sucks. Whew, situation was getting dicey. That's what partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. Can I... Can I kill him? Is that an option? Here we are. What are we looking at? A water tower. 
Great spot. Great for what? For, you know, the views. This way I... Oh, fuck. Gate stuck again. Gonna fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. No need. Whoa! Okay, we like leaping. Okay. Yeah, don't touch me, bitch. <laughs> On our way. Area's not bad, actually. Unlikely to dazzle. Make a good first impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. Brandy's problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. Ah, damn it. Oh. Apparently the worst city between the Atlantic and the Pacific. But I sure do love this view. Find it calming. Yeah, look at all the places I can never go to. Love it. I don't want to sit. Out here, you can't smell the shit corpse dump on the streets. Like the city's their own personal toilet. Shit flush repeat. Hmm. Poetic. Couldn't have said it better. Glazer. Got something for you. Wow. <laughs> What's the occasion? Aiming to close the door. A stage of my life is done. This thing holds too many memories. Won't let me do that. It'll serve you better. Thank you. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. Josh's husband did it. Drunk. In this very spot. Which made this your special spot. Family landmark? Something of the kind. All right, V. You know why we're here. Please, don't string me along. Ever feel alone? Of course I do. But doubt I'm cut out for relationships. <laughs> I doubt you know who you're talking to. Me? I'm a master of disastrous relationships. I'll need some evidence. Booked a skydiving experience for this one guy I was dating. And he never came back. Oh, V. I'm sorry. I know what it means when somebody close dies. Dies? No. No, no, no. Just fallen out of that plane, he fell in love with his instructor. Smashed one relationship to pieces along with the fucker's jaw. Why? What'd he do? Said I was too aggressive for him. <laughs> Kidding. He had a side bitch. Caught him fucking between the sheets I'd bought. Poof. Classic. Was only ever in love once. I was a shithead. Well, he was... He was great. But... Well, he had... Some <laughs> quirks. Between the sheets, I mean. <clears throat> Found that out later. Couldn't get hard without a mask on. Not the Venetian carnival kind, but U.S. presidents. A closet full. The hell? Had to dump him. Could only fuck Honest Abe so many times. That's insane. <laughs> no, no, seriously. Nice story. But it don't beat my last serious liaison. What did you do? I shot her. Oh shot my up. god. <laughs> oh my god. Had no choice. Found ourselves standing on opposite sides of the law. Don't worry. Never made it a habit. I'm done shooting the women I date. Listen, River. If you expect this to evolve somehow. Don't stand a chance, do I? Maybe we keep it at friends? Yeah. Sure. All right. 
Something strong's sure to hit the spot. Now that I understand. <laughs> he just jumps off the building. I'm done. <laughs> Here's to Joss and the kids. When we just roofies me. Yeah, to family. Got any more of that? Two bottles of whiskey and a case of beer ought to be enough. We'll see about that. Buckle your liver in. Gonna be a long night and a longer morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drinking on top of a very high object with minimal safety equipment. I'm still pissed I couldn't use this damn key. Oh, Colonize of the moon, and there's still no cure for it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, but now I gotta roll. No rush either. Get your. Tell Randy, hey. Will do. Complete River Ward storyline. You're damn right I completed that fucker storyline. Talk to me, woman. Whatever. Whatever. Hey, goofy bitch. Hey, gigs all set up super sweet like tonight at the Red Dirt. Talk to Carrie. Didn't change his mind or anything? No, no, not at all. He's pretty stoked, in fact. Haven't seen him like this since the Silverhand days. What about Henry? Still not on board? <sighs> Didn't even try. Not wasting my breath on that dick tip. Well, so, see you tonight. And don't worry about your axe. Got the gear all rounded up. Good. Yes. Yes. All right, so that's what we're doing next video, obviously. We're finally doing the damn concert. We're finally doing the concert. But I got 105k. That shit burning a hole in my pocket, my friend. That shit burning a hole in my pocket. Hmm. Fuck it. We ball. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen.